see. Welcome to our new time, Wednesday night, or Wednesday nights, I'm awake, Monday nights at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We are doing our new team calls at this time, and I'm so excited to see more of your beautiful faces. At the end of every call, we do stop the recording and we do chat, so don't forget to stay on, don't get off. Um, but that's why it's so critical for you guys to get on these calls is so that we can have that, um, you know, connection and team bonding on the calls. So, um, I wanted to share some things really quick, what's going on. So we have the salted caramel shake. It's dropping tomorrow. Um, I did the hour easy texting again for my entire downline and my prospects. And I also included the free shipping because I wanted them to know that if they told a friend, their friend would get free shipping on $150 or more order for their first time getting started. So make sure that all of your prospects know that. Um, and I think those are the only two announcements. If you did watch our Zoom with Taylor, she did kind of hint towards the tri-release being released like ASAP. I have a feeling it's gonna be next week. Um, it's way sooner than they would like it to be released because they don't have any of the information ready um, for it. But Kathy Cooper's too excited about it. So be on guard for that and get excited and message all your people. And I'm so excited because we have Julie who's training us today. So I'm going to stop talking and let her take over. Yay. All right. Hello, hello. I'm Julie. We are continuing our call series on Back to the Basics. Last week, we talked about why isogenics. This week, we're talking about the compensation plan. Um, it's a little bit different this week because a couple weeks ago, less than a month ago, whenever the recorded call was, I did the comp plan video a couple weeks ago. So what I want you to do is go back and watch that comp plan video because today I want to talk about verbiage when we're bringing up the comp plan with other people. So um, I feel like this is going to be more geared to new people um, of what, you know, what they can say. Sometimes in the beginning, you're just kind of like, just tell me what to do. I don't know how to say this right. I don't want to be a sleazeball. I want to be authentic. So give me the words and I'll kind of tweak it to make it my own. Cause you know, I'm all about like, give me a starting point and we can go from there. So today we're talking about the comp plan and, um, all right, so I'm going to jump in. I was going to tell you like more things, but I need to just jump into it. Okay. So, um, for like the comp plan, number one, go back and watch my comp plan video. Not that it's the best. It just will help you have a better understanding for where I'm coming from today. Um, also my three favorite comp plan videos. So for you new people, um, Chris Harder comp plan. So just YouTube, Chris Harder Isogenics compensation plan. It's the best. If you, um, fast forward to about the 38 minute mark, that's when it really gets good. And I could not sleep at night. Like <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I couldn't go to sleep. I was so excited. And we can talk about what he talks about there, but mostly it's about residual income and how this is not a direct sales business. It's a residual income network marketing business and how those are two very different things. So that one I love. Obviously the you share, they share, and then um, maximizing the isogenics comp compensation plan by Kathy Coover. I think it's just really basic. I love figuring out like, um, yeah, what the basics are and then, then changing it to my own flavor. So um, those are the three that I love. And then I'm going to include um, a link like on this once it's posted on the, um, on the team web page or whatever. Did you know there's a PDF for like, you can read the comp plan. So on ISA sales tools, there's like this 12 page document because some people I've all I've ever seen is videos. So then you learn how some people explain it or, you know, put like cartoons to their comp plan video or whatever they like have slides, but I thought it was really cool that there's a whole 10, 12 page, um, yeah, just, it's a whole article on explaining the comp plan. So that's really awesome to take a look at that. I'm going to add it as a link at the bottom. Okay. So first off, um, I want to go from talking to somebody about like, what is residual income? Because some people just don't even know what is residual income. Um, and then talking to somebody about like, Hey, do you want to get your first box reimbursed? Like, are you, would you let me help you get your 
first box reimbursed. So that's the second one. And then the third one is like, I feel amazing. I can't keep this to myself. That sometimes there's just those people that are naturally like, I can't keep this to myself. How do I do it well? So you can help them with their Facebook posts and their verbiage and whatever, because we definitely want to be compliant. Um, and sometimes with people that are so excited about isogenics and how it's um, helped them with all their ailments, they um, don't realize the verbiage that they kind of need to use with being compliant. So um, those are some things that we're going to talk about today. So first, if we're talking to the skeptic, so this is the former me. Um, for me, I finally decided this isn't about me. Um, I have to share this because other moms deserve to feel this good too. I um, have four kiddos and people would ask me, what are you doing? How do you do it? You have four kids. How do you do this? And I was like, totally lying. Like I just would stay quiet. I didn't want to tell them anything. I handed Meredith people and I was like, mm -mm, not happening. So I'm, I'm like coming from that skeptic place. So if you're either coming as the skeptic and want to know like, all right, I'm at the very beginning, tell me what to say, or you're a leader that's kind of coaching somebody else and coaching a skeptic, you can help them figure out what they would say. So just kind of from those two angles hear hear what I'm saying. So, um, all right, so first off, you've gotta be open to learn. <laughs> so as a former skeptic, I wasn't open to learn before. So you've gotta challenge those people that you're walking through like, hey, yeah, you wanna help people, you want them to feel as good as you are, are you open to me coaching you on how to do this well? Because if you're gonna do it at all, because you guys know me, if, you, if you're gonna do it at all, you gotta do it well. So um, do some digging, so do some research, find out like, number one, I would say the compensation plan and know it front and back, like, on sorry, oops, there we go. <laughs> I tried to change my screen, it did not work. <laughs> um, all right, so knowing the compensation plan is number one. So. Yeah, a lot of people want to come from a place of having their own testimony, their own experience with the products. I understand that. Um, I was definitely one of those. But you don't have to come from a place of knowing all the answers. Um, you can use the tools. You can use the research, the clinical research studies. Um, everybody has a 30-day money-back guarantee. So as you're talking to the skeptic that's like, ah, I really don't want to use my friends for money, you can tell them all these things of like, hey, it's, this isn't about that. So, all right, so be open to learn, do some digging and be bold. So make a list of 10 and understand that one is gonna sign up. Like the, the ratio of how you, the conversations that you have, maybe half the people will get back to you um, and some of them will be excited and then some of them will be like, oh, so sorry, I'm like super busy right now. Can you come back to me in a couple months? That's really nice of them to say that, but you know, um, some people just kind of ignore you all, all together after they've said yes. So I would have loved to know those things ahead of time going into it because I took action on myself. <laughs> so if you pay attention to like, hey, if you're talking to 10 people a week, then at least one of them, one of them's going to sign up. Um, but you've got to have 10 conversations, not just a, like a, eh, like a little hint, but like 10 full out conversations about an invitation to this program because it's legit, but it, it takes some work to be able to have those conversations. So just remember one out of 10 um, and make that a priority. All right, so when you're talking to somebody, obviously you've gotta have the right posture. So um, I love having a posture of authenticity. You show up this, as the same person in every conversation. Um, you're asking questions. So we can be very passionate about this business and this company and these products and we can word vomit all over them because it's awesome and the more we learn the more we love it and the more we get like aligned into this kind of company it's awesome that's at least what's happened for me but you don't want to word vomit on them you want to ask a ton of questions so as you do that um and maybe if you're like coming from the very new person and and you, you've just enrolled and you're looking to say like, okay, other people deserve to feel this good. What do I do? So I want you to kind of take this into consideration. So could you, so you could ask your 10 people and say, hey, could you help me learn if sharing 
this is for me by getting on a three-way call with me. Her name is Julie. You can say whoever, your upline person, your person that enrolled you. Her name is Julie and she won't pressure you. I just want to learn with you um, because I know you're a, surf, a safe person that knows I'm not just trying to make a buck off of them. So if you're like ahead of time calling out the skepticism um, and, and saying it before they feel it and you're saying like, hey, I just want to learn with you because I know you're not that type of person that thinks I'm going to use them then it like kind of neutralizes the ground of like, all right, well, yeah, I'd love to help you learn. Um, I'm open to hearing about it. And, and genuinely that's where our hearts should be, where we just, we, we want to learn how to share this. Well, we don't want to use our friends, but we can, we can learn with our friends to figure out how to do this business. Because, you know, a lot of people that promote on social media, they say 80% of their downline, 80% of their businesses come from people that they don't know. So don't look at like the friends and the people that around you, look at them as your way to the top. Look at them as like, I want to learn with you. Help me grow. Help me become the person that I need to be. Um, because if we're looking at all of our friends as our target market, they're going to feel that. And we don't want to be that. So you need to be super authentic with like showing up as the same person. All right. So then another question that I like to ask, um, to somebody that's skeptical, I could, I like to ask them if I could help you make 250 bucks, would you want that cash? So, I mean, who's going to say no, right? I know that they're like, but if you're talking to a skeptical person like me, the skeptic would say like, ah, I don't know what kind of strings are attached to that, but it at least cracks the door to go like, well, would you be open to me telling you? And then you can decide for yourself if it's for you or not. But being super clear, because if, if we kind of are like, you can make a hundred to $600 or you could, you know, like just kind of like quiet all the possibilities and ask them like, if I can help you make 250 bucks, because that's super reasonable. Sometimes for people selling a value pack is just, if not as reasonable. And so they see that as like, nope, I'm out. They just kind of like check it off. They, they check out. They're like, this isn't, I can't sell a $600 pack. Their mindset is like, no way. So if you meet them where they're at, because that's our job is to meet them where they're at, then promote like a premium pack or a basic pack and show them how they can get, you know, 250 bucks. And, um, Meredith, how long is that promotion going for $150 to consultant? Um, it it's only till January. So New Year's kickoff. Okay. It was supposed to be September. They extended to January, but it's your first 30 days, I think. Yeah. Of so becoming an associate, I think. Gotcha. I'll look. Okay. Are you sure? I think it's coming, becoming like a consultant once you've signed up two people. No, let me, let me just check really quick and I'll tell you. Go for it. Okay. All right. Um, so then I would say, let's schedule some three-way calls this week. So just challenge them. Like I'm, I'm challenging you to two. So let's schedule two three-way calls this week where I can show you how to invite your friends and to try this with you and let them to decide for themselves. So um, you are getting on the phone, whether you're the leader or you're like the brand new person, a leader can get on with you. Any of us would get on with you. Any of us. Like, don't feel like I don't have anybody or what do I do? I'm all alone or whatever. Any of us, whether we're like financially tight or not, I would love to like learn and grow with you guys. So as you get signed up with those or you schedule those three-way calls, then you're answering some of the questions, but don't be the know-it-all. <laughs> this is kind of hard. If you're not going to... You don't want to reinvent the wheel. What you're doing is modeling for that new person how easy it is to connect these people with the tools. You're not modeling for them how well you know everything. Yeah, it's great to learn the verbiage and know how to say it, and all, but that's going to come with time. As you're modeling for a brand new person, you need to show them how to just connect them to the tools. All right, so for a total newbie, I have a story. <laughs> Meredith is going to love this. Okay. So a total newbie that's like, what's residual income? I went way too far. <laughs> somebody, somebody at the gym, CrossFitter, they like know it all, right? <laughs> He's already kind of intimidated me, but 
I mean, come on, like he's younger, he's fresh out of the military. Like I can't not say anything. And I come with a posture of like, I would much rather come in and do my workout and not say anything at all. I would rather this be like my safe zone, but I'm going to do you a favor by introducing you to network marketing or residual income or these products or like, so if you have that posture where you're coming into a conversation and going, I'm doing you a favor. I'm going out of my way to bring this to your attention. You do with it what you want. You're going to have a completely different confidence level as you speak to that person. Okay. So for me, when I was speaking to that person, I was just excited that he was open, right? Because he's kind of a know-it-all and he doesn't need the products, right? And so I'm, I'm promoting and looking like, here's this residual income opportunity. <laughs> and you guys, I kind of like, I drew it all out and I'm like, okay, this and this. And I think it, a lot of it was just kind of like, <laughs> because not calling him dumb. I'm just saying, he was like, what's residual income? What is that? And I'm like, well, wouldn't you love to have an Airbnb someday? And he's like, well, yeah, that would be awesome. Like, what if you were an Uber driver and you drove somebody one time and you got paid forever off of that one time you did that work? Wouldn't that be awesome? And he's like, well, yeah, that's awesome. Okay, well, that was my opener. And then I go way too far into double PIBs and explaining isogenics and how it would work for him, right? Okay, so if we meet them where they're at, remember that's our job, if we meet them where they're at, for a total newbie, um, I, would, I would start from a place of asking, okay, wait, so I have to go back. So this person, I went way too far, and then, <laughs> and then he grabs his water, and he drinks it, and he like walks away. <laughs> didn't say a word he didn't respond nothing so guys it's okay to fail and it's okay to learn because then I learned oh I went way too far way too fast because I was excited that he was open and now I'm the crazy person <laughs> that's okay you still have the posture of I'm doing you a favor by telling you this so you don't need to get scared away by him being like yeah, you're insane. Like, okay, I'm insane. But if you want to know more, you'll know where to come. Like, just hold your posture, right? You don't have to be a know-it-all. You don't have to be like super confident, over dramatic with it, but like know your posture. Okay. So I think I would ask like, okay, if you were to start a business, what would it be in? Because I love asking questions and then you get to learn their heart with that. So whatever they say, you just say, you know, and ask deep, don't just ask it to get the answer. Ask more questions after that of like, oh, when did that, like, when did you want to start doing that? Why do you have that passion? That's really cool. Be interested, genuinely interested. Okay. So then, then ask how much do you think it would take to start up that company? And then it's going to like, you know, he's probably going to be like, oh, uh, like a lot or, you know, what, maybe Your internet, Julie, is like paused. You're frozen. I don't know if she is gonna come back or like we'll have to turn this off. Julie! Guys, if you didn't notice, um, if you join Isogenics, our current customer who converts to associate between June 24th, 2019 and January 26th, 2020, you have 30 days from your associate date advance to advance to consultant. Once you advance to associate and then to consult and you have 30 days from that date. Um, and you got to enroll two or more with 100 BV minimum. So that was that. And I still don't know. Oh, she left and she's going to pop back on because it's not working. I can see she left. While we're waiting, I don't know if I should. Oh, uh oh, she's trying to get back on. That's not, no bueno for her trying to get back on. You guys have any questions? Ask them while she's trying to get back on. Also, she did tell me about the guy that she approached at the gym. And I was like, wow, that's, that's good though. You're doing things that are scaring you. It's a good thing. Oh, here's Julie, she came back. I'm so sorry, my phone's overheating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's weird. Okay, go ahead. All right, um, okay, so, 
how much do you think it would take to start that start up that company right and then you are the sideways marketing. To me. you're sideways what? okay yeah there you go Sorry. are we good is it working yeah you're good is it working yeah you're good your internet's shoddy I know it's because my phone's too hot. I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. All right. Okay. So in a network marketing business, how long do you think it would take you to make a thousand dollars residually? So I would kind of go from that place of like, how long do you think this would take? And, and to kind of like cut out the skepticism, you can go from like, Hey, you know, you can explain your own story if you want to, or some other stories, but I like to have, um, the posture of like, this is a business. It's not a get rich quick scheme because that's what a lot of skeptical people are leery of to begin with. It's like, e, I don't think this, I, I'm not into this kind of business, right? So if you're talking to them about like what it will actually take, um, you, I wanna ask them ideally, what would you need to make in order for this to be worth your time? So that one is really important to me what would you need to make in order for this to be worth your time? So this is where you need to be able to talk in terms of cycles. So you're coming with a posture of like, Hey, yes, love this. Um, I, yeah, you're, you're authentic. You're like, I'm doing you a favor, making sure your posture is in a place of like, I want to help you. I want to love you well, and I want to lead you well. So if you're leading them in a way of talking in terms of cycles, they're not going to understand but it's going to help them under, it's going to help them think like, oh, I don't already know this, <laughs> you know, because the skeptic is going to be like, I already know what she's going to say, or they've got their mind made up. So if you're talking in terms of cycles, number one, you're building belief in the company, you're building belief in the possibility that it could be for them. And number three, you're making sure that you're coming from a place of, um, kind of being ahead of the curve instead of trying to just constantly defend you're coming from a place of like, let me show you, right? Okay, so very simple, $54 is one cycle, right? So if you plug in five cycles, 10 cycles, 20 cycles, whatever it is, plug in your cycle times four, so four weeks out of the month, and that's gonna be the monthly income. So for them, if they're gonna say, I've gotta make $2,000 for this to even be worth my time, because my time is precious, I've got this, this, and this going on, if I can't make two grand in this business, then it's not worth my time. Don't let it scare you. Whatever the number is, just talk in terms of cycles. So like, for example, five cycles is $1,000 a month. 10 cycles is $2,000 a month. 20 cycles, $4,000 a month. Just kind of know like the benchmarks of being able to multiply it out, right? And then you also want to just know the five cycle bonus and the 10 cycle bonus and how they get that a couple of times because it's important for them to know the upfront money that they get while they're learning you just need to be able to simplify it in a way that you're meeting them where they're at and you're not getting giving them too much before they're ready to handle it so just little bits at a time but talking in terms of cycles so let's just use the example of 10 cycles a month is about two thousand dollars it's a little more than two thousand dollars but you know, um, that's going to take 9,000 BV. So remember it takes 900 BV to make a cycle. So you're timesing that by 10, multiplying that by 10. So 9,000 BV, let's say an average order is going to be 125 BV. So you're taking 9,000 BV and dividing it by, what am I dividing it by? 9,000 BV divided by 125, because that's your average order. So that means you're going to need about 72 people in your downline to be able to, you know, make $2,000 a month. So you need to be able to talk in terms of cycle and show people. So this is where I think it kind of gets fun because when you ask somebody, <laughs> it's kind of funny. When you ask somebody, do you know 72 people that, you know, they could get their groceries paid for or whatever, it kind of scares them. We're like, 70 people you want me to go enroll 70 people but then you can bring it back to no i don't want you to enroll 70 people you could but you know what you're going to benefit so much more if you have five people that are running with five people that are running with five people and so we're talking about compound effect because even on the compound effect i want you to write this out because it's on the um chris harder video 
So compound effect, P takes two, four, eight, 16. I want you to write it out, like put it on your notebook, two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024, 2048, 4096, and 8192 people. I know I went really fast, but I know you can kind of like pause the video if you need to. So 8192 people, and then write down word of mouth, put them there. So how many levels deep is this? I haven't even counted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So 12 like levels deep. So number one, you need to help the skeptic understand that they're going to make um, 6% off of everybody underneath them, whether you, you know them or, or not. Like it never cuts off. And this is in the comp plan videos. You guys know this already. But 8,192 people are in their downline just based on the compound effect. So if you take that compound effect and you're running with five people and casting the vision and teaching them how to find five people to run with, and then they're doing the same and doing the same, did you know it would only take, let's see, hang on, one, two, three, four, it would only take five times to do that like on its own. So you're running with five people and then five levels down, you're making two grand a month residually forever. Like as, as long as they're ordering. So um, I don't remember, Meredith, you can type it in the comments, but somebody talks about driving the line. So you're enrolling and helping people cast the vision. You're teaching your leaders how to cast the vision. And then when they bring new people in, you drive the line and work with those new people. Even if they're five levels down or however many, I'm just using it as an example, five levels down, they introduce brand new people. You're there to drive the line and say, hey, let me plug you in and show you what I do. Now, they're still going to be connected with the person that they've enrolled with, but, but you're being congruent with because your goal is, you know, five by five by five, all the way five levels down that's gonna give you the $2,000 residually. So if that's your goal, to work with five levels down five people, then you're driving the line and helping, those are like high intentional priority people. Does that make sense? So you gotta know your goal ahead of time and then know their goal. So scripture talks about wisdom is known by your children, right? So if you're getting your people paid, then, then they're gonna stick around and they're learning how to get their people paid. So you've got to cast the vision well to be able to teach them how to get paid. So that's what you're doing with this compound effect. Okay, so um, on the Chris Harder video, he, he walks this out. It's somewhere after like the 45 minute mark or something like that. But it's really cool because he talks about um, 1,092 cycles per month. Okay, so let me back up. I need to explain this better. So if we go from 8,192 people, remember we, we wrote down word of mouth, put them there. And so he used the example of 120 BV as the average order. So 120 BV, so that's going to take 983,040 people. So write that down, 983,040 people. And you divide that by 900 points per cycle. Stick with me. So 983,040 people divided by 900 is going to be 1,092 cycles per month. So... I'm not necessarily a numbers person, but this is super exciting because you multiply this by 54. Remember, you can make $54 per cycle. So that's 58,000, almost $59,000 a month that they're making just by this 800 and, or you the compound effect of two, multiplying by two, by two, by two, keep going, right? The compound effect. Okay, so if you multiply that by 12 months, then it's $707,000 a year to where if you can, if you fail 90% of the time, so $700,000 a year, over $700,000 a year, you can fail 90% of the time with this compound effect. If it actually went the way it could go, right? If you fail 90% of the time, that's a lot. You're still making $70,000 a year. That's an amazing example to show the possibility of what residual income can do. You just need to learn how to simplify it better and probably have a white with you. <laughs> All right, so when somebody generally just asks you, what's residual income? You're gonna say it's a passive stream of income 
where you do the work, work once and get paid on it continually. So you heard me already use the examples of like Airbnb, but that's, that's not like, that's not what we do, right? That's not really residual income. That, that does take a lot of work. Any kind of residual income is going to take work, but listen, emotional plus consumable equals residual. I know a lot of you people have already heard this, but if you have an emotional response to what you're ordering, you're going to come back and order it every month. Consumable, you're going to come back and order it every month. It's an anyway product. We talked about this last week. So it's going to be an anyway product. You have an emotional attachment to it. Then that's what equals residual income because you're not going to like a lot of, a lot of these health companies will have a system where it's this three month program and then they're off the program and you teach them how to go back to what they've been doing. Isogenics is completely different because it's a lifestyle. So you're teaching them how to use the Isogenics lifestyle, the Isogenics grocery store. You're teaching them how they can have an emotional connection with it. And obviously it's going to be consumable. That's why Isogenics is the best network marketing company. So that's what equals your residual income. So, okay, I've gone over a lot and I don't like that I didn't have the whiteboard to be able to write out the numbers for you. But on my other comp plan video, I did have the whiteboard. The lighting was really wonky tonight. I'm not used to the 8 p.m. time yet. Um, but for homework, I want you guys to write out. Um, so just put homework and then write, let's work on our credibility. So I want to ask you a question. Why are you the most credible person to help them with the problem that they have? So write it out. I'm not even going to prompt it any more than that. But why are you the most credible person to help them with the problem that they have? So if they're coming to you and they're like, whether it's products or I need to make some side income, whatever it is, um, you've got to have the posture to know you're doing them a favor by working with them. Because if we have the posture of, oh, I hope I know the right things to say and, oh, I haven't done that before, so I'll just try to fake it. Maybe I can connect them with somebody that knows like you've got to have the assurance in your heart to know. All right. So, um, last thing, last thing for homework. So we're doing this back to the basic call series. I want you guys as leaders to figure out how you would talk about each point because there's four points, right? Why isogenics compensation plan products and leading leaders. So how would you communicate this? Because we're going to switch this up and every month, we're going to practice hosting the call. We're going to practice walking through your four teaching series of what you're going to talk about. Um, and there's like so many different things that you could say. Like this week I talked about the comp plan, but really I talked about verbiage more than I talked about like the actual comp plan. So you guys could highlight any portion of, of these calls. And so next month or two, three weeks from now, whenever it is, three, three weeks from now, I want somebody else to lead out on this four week call series and do the whole thing again. And I want you to learn how you would say it because maybe it's up here, but <laughs> I'm learning from experience that it's a lot harder to get out here. <laughs> it's way different. And then when you're looking at yourself on the screen and then you're talking to other leaders that already know this, it's really intimidating. It's super hard, but it's really going to grow you as a leader. So we're going to take turns for the next month. We're going to take turns hosting. We're going to take turns, all of that, but going through, and I need you to write this down. Why isogenics, compensation plan, products, and leading leaders. Those are the four topics you're going to talk about. Plan on talking for 30 to 40 minutes on each one. And you are either going to, I don't know, I'll talk to Meredith. You're either going to take one or you're going to take all four. And we're going to like learn with you. And um, I really love constructive criticism. So. Um, even as I'm doing, cause this is my second one, right. Of my rotation, as I'm doing this, I really love constructive criticism. So I want to open like whatever Facebook messenger, however you text me, whatever it is, I want to open myself up to the constructive criticism of, Hey, this is how you could have explained this better. Um, but then I want you guys to be open to that too, as you're going to lead out and explain, this is going to help you really own it. It's a whole nother level. When you have to teach it, you have to know it at a different level. And then you have to know it here and be able to explain it here and have your phone work. 
which is great. All right, um, so that's your homework. And um, I think we already talked about announcements and everything else this week. So you guys are free to go. Thank you for jumping on the 8 p.m. call. We're gonna try to keep it consistent with 8 p.m. If you can't jump on, that's okay. Please listen to the recording. Um, but just know after we end the recording, we are going to be talking and communicating about how this week is going, what we need to do different and all of that. So it is important to get on the call if you can, um, because that community portion is actually super important. So thanks for listening. Love you guys. Bye.